Thanks for watching the screencast. The objective of the screencast is learners will be able to evaluate a logarithmic expression using the definition of a logarithm. Okay, we need to define a logarithm for you. Uh, the A is kind of kind of silent. Logarithm, uh, logarithm here. Uh, logarithms are the answer to a question. So the statements here are equivalent statements. The side here on the right side is what you might call exponential form. And it essentially is an exponential equation. B to the A power equals X. An equivalent statement over here on the left side is what we call logarithmic form. Or essentially log form for short. And it's read like log, short for logarithm, log base b of x equals a. Log base b of x equals a. And those statements mean the same thing. Uh, we color-coded the, the b and the x and the a all the same colors to make that connection for you. Essentially, the logarithm is an answer to the question, what power of b gives you x? What power of the base gives you this? as the output. So the logarithm itself is the exponent in the in the equation. Uh, notice the location of the a here in the exponential form, b to the a power equals x. So let's look at some examples of evaluating logarithms simply by using that definition. Let's start here on the top left where it says log base 4 of 16. Log base 4 of 16 essentially says what power of 4 is 16. What power of 4 gives you 16? And the answer is 2. So we say that log base 4 of 16 equals 2. Here's another example here on the top right side. Log base 3 of 81. Well, that's saying what power of 3 is 81. Uh, 3 to the 4th is 81. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. So log base 80, excuse me, log base 3 of 81 is 4. In this expression in the bottom left, uh, there's no base written uh, right there. Um, so we're to assume that's a 10. If there's no base written, assume we're talking base 10. Uh, this is sometimes called common log or common logarithm. So what we're asking you here is what power of 10 gives you 1,000. And the answer to that is, is 3. So log of 1,000, log base 10 of 1,000 is 3. This one could be a little bit trickier here. We want log base 5 of 1 25th, but the definition still applies. We're saying what power of 5 gives you 1 over 25? Well, you know, 5 squared is 25. So I think what I need here is negative 2. 5 to the negative second power would be 1 over 5 squared, which is 1 over 25. So log base 5 of 1 25th is negative 2. Okay, it's time for you to pause the video and try a few on your own here. When you think you've got them worked out or you think you've got answers for each one, uh, go ahead and hit play to get some feedback. For log base 4 of 256, what power of 4 gives you 256? Let's see. 4 squared is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. That's 4 to the 3rd power. 64 times 4 is 256. That means 4 to the 4th power is 256. So log base 4 of 256 is 4. Look at this one on the top right. Log base 2 of 1. What power of 2 gives you 1? Yes, yeah, the 0th power. So log base 2 of 1 is 0. Here's maybe the trickiest one in the screencast here. Log base 8 of 2. What power of 8 gives you 2? You know, I know that 2 is the, uh, or rather that 2 cubed is 8. I think the cube root of 8 is 2. 
So it might help to think about what power of 8 would be the same as the cube root of 8. And it's one third. Remember that the one third power means the same thing as the cube root. So log base 8 of 2 is one third. This last example says log base 3 of one third. What power of 3 gives you 1 over 3? Well, 3 to the negative first is negative 1. Uh, excuse me, 3 to the negative first is 1 third. So log base 3 of 1 third is negative 1. Thanks for watching.